Hello Dodgers fans, welcome again for another news from the Dodgers, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive news from the Dodgers every day, let's go. We kind of gotten used to the Dodgers being at the top of all projection systems. The general process is, LA gets some unprecedented projection, we've never seen a team projected to win this many games, and then they exceed even those historically optimistic projections. Well, Los Angeles will have an easier time exceeding projections in 2023, because at least one system has them winning just 89.7 games. ESPN ran simulations based on the steamer projections from Fangraphs, and that's the number they came up with. In 10,000 simulated seasons, the Dodgers made the postseason just 72% of the time and won the World Series just 3%. If you're a little surprised by those results, you're not alone, the author of the piece at ESPN, Bradford Doolittle, is right there with you. Steamer isn't particularly excited about the additions of J.D. Martinez and Noah Syndergaard, which plays into a rather surprising ranking for the Dodgers. Why surprising? At this point, I almost take it for granted that the Dodgers will end up ranked first in almost any kind of projection-based ranking that I do. What the forecasts can't capture is the Dodgers' uncanny ability to get acquired players to produce at a level a tier or two above what the numbers suggest. You know, players like Martinez and Syndergaard. And, for that matter, how will Cubs fans feel if, all of a sudden, the Dodgers turn Jason Hayward into a feared masher? Still, this doesn't feel like it's been a good offseason for LA. The offseason, though, is only half over. If you dig into the steamer projections, there are reasons to be surprised that don't have anything to do with Syndergaard or Martinez. Julio Urias, the guy who led the league in ERA in 2022, who has a 2.82 career ERA and a 2.61 ERA in nearly 500 innings over the past five years, is projected to have a 4.05 ERA. Across the board, nearly every LA pitcher has projections that make you think, wait, is this a typo? Steamer has the best ERA for the Dodgers at 3.47 for Bruster Gratterall. In 2022, the Dodgers had 17 pitchers with at least 30 innings pitched, 11 of them had ERAs better than 3.47. LA's team ERA in 2022 was 2.80, and Steamer thinks their best pitcher will be at 3.47 in 2023. I don't know the ins and outs of Steamer's projection system. I don't know specifically what it is that makes it think Julio's entire career has been a fluke. I just wonder how many times Urias will need to vastly outperform his Steamer projections before the coders behind the system just hard code some exceptions for him. All I know is, if you can get Vegas odds based on Steamer, you can probably make some good money in 2023. What do you think of all this? Leave your opinion in the comments, because your opinion is very important for the Dodgers, leave your like to help the channel, subscribe and activate the bell to be notified of new Dodgers news around here, see you later.